airy music just randomly, so he emailed the guy who made it and said, you totally have to make us some music. And sure enough, the guy made some music for a very reasonable price, and that's what we used for that oh, fight. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I think every single person who saw me do that noticed it. Like, they could really... I think everyone enjoyed the music from there. How is the game? I, I like this game a lot. A lot, actually. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have permanent access to it? Because I can send you a beta key for yourself. Yeah, or I, to I give do, out I do. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind some beta keys to give out to like subscribers or viewers. <laughs> cool, I'll, I'll PM you some um, in, in a minute. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Because I think problem, a lot of people I... are going to play this game this weekend and then they're not going to have a key when it ends. And they're yeah. going to be upset. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, I've sent you through some beta keys so you can get them out however you'd like to. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do it later if that's good. That's not what I want to play. <laughs> uh, the map you guys got in the top right corner, I really like it because it's old school, but I don't know, it, there was in some cave area, I think it was really hard to like decrypt where you were gonna go. I got lost at several times. I think it was before the the act was in Act 1. Uh, yeah, we're going to make the map clearer. There are plans for that. Though at the moment it's a low priority feature because yeah. a lot of other big systems have been... Of course. Oh, is you, if you watch stream, like, if I use this, the, the frost thing, you will see me getting a buff in the top left corner, I think. Like, I'm using it now. Yeah, now I get the additional cold resist up there. So you can time it, like if you fight mobs with frost damage. Yeah. We tried to make the flasks really have cool. a very short but large effect, so that yeah. time matters, rather than it being something you turn on for a minute at a time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah th that's what I like as well. Like, the more timers you want to use, like, the more skillful the game gets, which is cool. Right. Like, there's a flask that increases your critical strike rate, and we had the choice between boring way, which will give you, say, 25% more crits for a minute. And we went with the other extreme, which is where you get 100% critical strike rate for 1.5 seconds. So oh. every hit is a crit, guaranteed, for 1.5 seconds. Which means you can just unleash all your spells at once if you're fast. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, I gotta level up there. Oh, is there any, like, if you reach... I, I think I just got level 20. Is there any bonus if you gain, like, 20, 30, 40, 50, or something like that? Now we don't have bonuses on the whole number of levels there. Um, okay. It's possible that we could add them. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't mind either way. <clears throat> there is some benefits to not having them. Like if you get a big bonus at some... Like uh, people might just level to that level just to get those benefits and then they... I don't know. Don't yeah, we'll some advance their characters a lot after that. Some of the passive skills in the tree are much larger than the others, you know, the keystone ones. Yeah, so those exactly. ones are like mini milestones. Yeah, I had a bit of a dilemma before, like, uh, there was this ability that went to like the wrong way. Uh, or more, I could put one point in, I think it was 20 decks and 20 int. And I wasn't sure if it was worth it for, since I'm a marauder, but I ended up taking it because it gives like, I, I could choose like 20 decks and 20 int or like 10 strength. And, I mean, I'm a strength character, so I don't know if I did the right choice or not. Yeah, it's tough to say. I mean, you may need the dex and int for requirements later. Yeah, but is that, I mean, it's more than that, right? What does, let me just check dex. Oh, uh, that's what I want, the accuracy? H how does that affect my character? Is it important to get a lot of accuracy on a it's Marauder? It is probably worth keeping up. I mean, there are other ways that you can get high to hit chance. Oh, um, yeah. There's a keystone passive that gives you a 100% hit chance, but then you can't get critical strikes. Okay. But it's generally good to get a lot of accuracy. Oh yeah, I see it here. Chance to hit 89%. Is that against mobs my level? Yes, it is. Or is that? Okay. But if I hit higher yeah. level mobs, I, I'll miss more? Yeah, you, and you... Well, it doesn't actually check the level of the mob. It's okay. just that higher level mobs happen to have more evasion. 
Yeah. So that the level of the mob is not used in the actual calculation, it's just that they happen to be more difficult to hit, so you need to have higher numbers to hit them. Yeah, this I think gives 59 to accuracy rating, and I lose 5% to hit, which is 5% DPS, so that's a lot. Yeah, you definitely want accuracy, that's for sure. Yeah. Like how much DPS do I gain? Yeah, I gain like 15 DPS almost with these guys. It's pretty cool. Oh, and this <laughs> this talent tree, it looks so confusing, but I don't think it is that confusing when you start using it. Like, if I scroll it out now <laughs> to the chat, they will go like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is the talent tree, guys. Hmm. But, but since you start at one area with a class, it's not as hard as it may look. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, there's 1,330 nodes on there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't really know where I'm going, but I'm aiming for like one hand shield build with like tanky stuff. <clears throat> <laughs> but if you look it through slowly at the start, you'll kind of figure out where you want to go kind of fast. At, at least if you like mark over the big yellow like the bigger notes or whatever you yes call them. yeah we added those so that you can <coughs> see what kind of general area you want to get to exactly like like if i would have gone down here this is like the 200 i think yeah 200 area hmm. there's still some stuff i might want down here though hmm. I get this? No. Oh, how does this work? Le there's two abilities here that gives 15% less damage from critical strike. Do I get 30% then? Yeah, I think it does add. Okay. Refund a skill. Oh, that's. No, no, I don't want to use those. Let me see. Is there any way to see how much. How much crit do I have? Can I see that? Main and crit it's construct. Oh yeah, 5%. Okay. Need more crit. Oh, are there items who gives like multiplier as well? Main and crit strike multiplier? Yes. Okay. We used to have the multiplier present on every slot, but we reduced it to make it more important. Okay. How, how does MF work in this game? Like, I have 8% now. Quantity of items dropped by slain monsters. So there's two mods. There's both quantity oh, there's and rarity. Oh. The quantity one works exactly as it sounds, and the rarity yeah. one is very similar to the Diablo 2 magic find system. There are diminishing returns oh. on both, but you probably won't hit the diminishing returns at low levels. Yeah. So I find better items from the first one. Like, with more stats. The quantity one. Um... The quantity one will just give you more items, which of course oh, means yeah, yeah, yeah. better overall. Oh, okay, and the second one gives me like higher chance to get rare drops, pretty to, much. Yes, to get rare drops oh, and unique okay, drops. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, the first one is more loot and the other one is more rares. Okay. <clears throat> oh, how do you get endurance charges, by the way? It always says zero or four for me. So there are some skills that grant charges, and I believe for Endurance the skill is called Enduring Cry, and that gives you charges based on how many enemies are near you, so you can run into a group and then use it, and it gives you a bunch of charges which helps you tank. And there are other skills that use these charges, for example, um, Immortal Call is a skill that takes away all your Endurance charges but makes yeah. you invulnerable for a few seconds based on how many you had. Oh, because I actually put some talent in that thing, even though I... I wasn't really sure what I was doing, I think I put something here. Yeah, 1 plus the maximum endurance charge. Oh. Well, that's useful if you find those skills later. Yeah. I I need to find those skills right away. <laughs> oh, and one thing, like, since I'm a Marauder, sh is, will, like, the green and blue gems ever be useful for me? Or should I aim for, like, mainly having red stuff? I think that there are some green and blue gems that will be useful, especially support gems. For example, there's an increased critical strike uh, blue support gem. Oh, yeah, yeah. Increased attack speed is a green one. Okay, so it's mainly the support one? 
The yeah, you may find some. Skills. You may find some active skills. Like for example, um, frenzy is a green support. Is a green skill gem which will give you frenzy charges when you attack, and maybe it's useful to use that a bit before you hit guys with normal attacks. Yeah. Yeah, this wiper strike is not too bad, but I kind of prefer the short stuff. Even yeah. though it's my highest DPS ability right now, I think. Yeah, it does have a boost DPS. But this charge is really strong, like I'm using it all the time. <laughs> Almost feels nice. a bit overpowered, <laughs> but I don't mind that. Yeah, well, it gets you close to the monsters, which can be dangerous, <coughs> but you're handling it well. Yeah, well, it definitely speeds up like my killing spin, which I like. Instead of running around, I can charge around in mobs, which is really cool. How much harder is it going to be when I get to the next difficulty? It ramps up a fair amount. Um, melee is a little dangerous, the monster starts to do quite a lot of damage, so it's really yeah. good that you're building tanky, I think you'll need it. Yeah, that's what you I was I mean? thinking. Yeah, as a ranger and you can usually kite mobs. Yeah, I mean I can tell you're building tanky out of practice because that's what you did for D2 and D3, but it is necessary in the higher difficulty levels here as well. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> So right now I'm feeling really strong. In Act 1 I was a lot weaker. I don't know why I'm a lot stronger now. I think maybe I got some good items. Let me see, am I even going the yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're doing a decent amount of damage. Yeah. I think it's all thanks to my craft. Is, 